Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I wanted to take some time to answer some questions that some of you have been posting up in the comments section. And I apologize if it's taken a while to get to them, but there are a lot of them and I'm just trying to kind of get them kind of grouped up in a certain, uh, in a, in, in get them grouped up so that I can more easily answer the questions. One of them has to do with injuries and this one actually brought in by, looks like Ullish1989. Um, he actually hits two points with this. I guess he has a shoulder injury, but he also asks about people who may be generally unfit. You know, what is my feeling on people training who are unfit? Now, it's different if you have an injury versus if you are unfit. So what is an unfit person? The unfit person is a person that tells me, hey, Ryan, I would love to start training, but let me go and get in shape first. Let me do some running. Let me lose some weight. Let me go to the gym and lift some weights a little bit. And, and the reason why people do that or the reason why they say that is because they think that jujitsu is an intense workout uh, that they won't be able to handle. In a way it is, but here's the thing. We work you up to that level. Even if you are in shape, you need to be in extraordinary shape to be able to handle one of our workouts right off the bat. So a good thing to do is just to come in. No matter what level of fitness you are, if you come in, we will work you up. Uh, work you up to the level you need to be so that you're fit to do jujitsu and, and do it well. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to expect that you keep up with everybody in the class. And in fact, in every class, we have various grades of fitness. So you have some people that are, that are very overweight, even obese, simply overweight and just need to kind of get in shape. You have other people that are just in horrible condition, just haven't done anything. They may not be overweight, they may not be obese, they may be of average weight, but they are in need to be in shape. And then you have people that are, you know, that do moderate exercise and that are in relatively good shape. And then you have athletes. Those are the types of people that we, we have that would come in. We're good for all of them. If you are an athlete, we can make sure that we accentuate what you're already doing. And we'll teach you Gracie Jiu Jitsu while we're at it. If you are not an athlete, but you're of average weight and average body composition, Gracie Jiu Jitsu will get you in shape quickly. It really comes down to how hard you want to push yourself. For somebody who's overweight or obese, you know, they may have a few more challenges, but it's not uncommon for me to have people lose 20 to 40 pounds in their first six months of learning combat Jiu Jitsu. To me, there's no better way to do it. And another thing too, by, by training, you will not only get all the exercise you need, you will change the way you eat and the way you, the way you act um, around food because you will have that mindset. I wanna do well. I wanna be able to, to get better. I wanna be able to, 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 to catch people, to hold people down, to do all these things. And in order to do that, it, it takes a holistic approach, not only in your training, but you also have to put the right fuel in your body. You know, I have a student who, who likes to drink. Friday, Saturday night, you know, he, he goes and, and has a great time. But what it does is it kind of messes his body up for when training happens on Monday. You know, he's still kind of feeling the effects of the alcohol. It doesn't help him to lose weight. You know, he's probably a good 30, 40 pounds overweight right now. And the alcohol isn't helping that effort. So. What's been happening is he's been cutting back. He's been uh, doing a little bit better as far as his diet, as well as the jujitsu. Now we can do another video later on at some point regarding um, uh, the diet and stuff. Uh, it could be, you know, what better, better healthy habits that you can go into. So if you're looking at something like Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the best time to join us is now, right? Or your local school, just, just join now. A good instructor will make sure that you're being brought into it in a safe manner and being brought in in a manner that will work with you. Everybody will pick it up at different points in their journey. And when I say pick it up, meaning it, where it clicks and your body actually does what your mind wants you to do. But don't push yourself too hard initially uh, because you know there, there, are, there are a lot of people that have Push a little bit harder than I, I would have liked them to, and I and I warned them. I warned everybody. So you know, this is going to be a little little difficult. So just kind of do it moderately. Don't don't try to force yourself to keep up. Inevitably, you're going to have people that try to force themselves to keep up, and what happens? They end up going outside and putting their lunch back out. But whatever, you know, it, it's it, it's it's a good sign when they do that because it shows that they really want to try to get a hold of this thing quickly. 
and, and I admire that. So if you're unfit, just come on in anyway. You'll, you'll make the changes you need to make if it turns out you want to be successful in this. And that's all I got for you on this. We're nearing the end of the year and I hope your holiday season is going well. Anyway, happy training. Take care. Bye-bye.